so where is nifty heading in the next week so on a monday itself it should head towards 17664 which is 0.618 fibonacci when you plot fibonacci from 18210 to 17 16782 you get 0.618 or 61% retracement as 17664 so this is uh, our uh, level which we were saying uh, because there are two gaps left and it can very much go towards this level so this is the fibonacci tool if you want to plot and see yourself you can do that so there are two to three possibilities from here onwards because we had a complex correction we dropped this is looking like a 5f structure this is a pure complicated correction in the in the channel and now we are again looking like a 5f structure so this is a complicated case where uh, where we are saying that uh, that we are going up towards 17660 to yeah 750 something that that was another way uh, we did uh, like draw the targets so here we we can say one way as a b and c wave is in progress which should head towards 17780 as a 0.618 fibonacci wave uh, internal waves of c are unknown so that's that's a mystery but this particular compression of the price or this particular uh, move of uh, move by the price suggesting an up move ahead okay which Uh, to take it maybe 150 to 200 points up towards uh, 17,660 to 750 or something. So that is one way to look at the targets on the Monday. So you can go ahead and check our yesterday's analysis where we have said that we are uh, we will be trading flat tomorrow. Like today we traded very flat and it was very range bound moment. So yesterday itself we had alerted that we are going to make either a triangle or a flat correction. So by the end of the day. nifty has left us again in a uh, mystery whether we are uh, whether we whether this is a flat correction or it's a triangle because it didn't give the breakout from this point okay if it had given the breakout then we would have said that this is not a triangle this is a flat correction so this can form a triangle on monday it can drop down and then go up that is one thing you need to remember so what is the strategy on monday so monday if you see a gap down and nifty moving towards this trend line maybe what is this level uh, 17000 maybe uh, 450 something okay 450 levels if you see that going towards this and if some reversal candle like morubozu uh, forms here then you can consider an up move towards 17600 plus okay that's one thing that you can do if it if it is a triangle it will open flat it will go down it will touch this trend line and start giving the signals of bounce you can jump right away near the trend line by keeping this as a stop loss 17380 379 okay that stop loss you can keep and jump near 17400 or something 400 430 okay if you are a risky you can do that and if you are a conservative you will wait for this high to be broken this high it's somewhere near 17500 okay so 17520 or something that is the 20 or 10 or something that is the high that it has made so what you will do you will let the e wave complete wait for d uh, d wave stock to be broken so once it broken you can take the trade and use this as a stop loss so this is how you can trade next day keeping the targets of 17650 to 750 so yeah so hope you understand how, what you can do if it's a triangle if it's already had completed complex correction here not a complex correction flat correction a b c this c wave is truncated here no worries that can happen a b c okay so tomorrow what can happen is uh, it can break this high okay and then or or open a gap up then give a small retracement then go up so you can enter at the retracement so retracement level what what can be the retracement level we don't know because what can happen it can open gap up then wait for the retracement of one or two candles will be coming down because the trend will be weak because MACD is going to make a divergences remember that the trend will be weak so you have to enter on the pullback and wait for the targets on the upside once the pullback happens then you have to enter the uh, the trade maybe somewhere near 17500 again the retracement will come this will be wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 like this it can go to 17650 to 750 these are our targets on the upside so hope you understand how the levels are going to work 
forget the counts for now this is how it is looking like it could be impulse a wave which which can drop down later and go up this could be a this could be b and this could be c these possibilities we will check later on as the price action develops here currently the trend is strong currently the gaps are big gaps have not been filled in since two days so the trend is still looking strong here but i am expecting after this move we can expect a drop on the downside forget the moves to this so this is how we are just considering the price compression has uh, been like quite a lot okay so consolidation had happened a lot so we can expect a good up move of 150 to 200 points so that's how we should be looking at the for the next day so yeah we have given you the both possibilities if it's a flat what to do if it's a triangle what to do so later on uh, let's check what is there on the daily charts so if you check a daily chart there is a strong resistance near 16,000 sorry 17,615 16 uh, so these are the touch points if you see many candles here okay so many candles are touching here there is one big tail touching here this candle bounce gave, gave the bounce so from here started the drop so we have to watch 17,615 to 650 zones so there is a chance that it can drop from these levels itself without going to 17,700 or so so this is a one of the major resistance if it sustains about this it could rally even more on the upside but that we will leave as a guessing game that's not a perfect way it can go up so here you see it had came down if uh, nifty had given this much move rsi went to 30 but didn't create any divergences so that worries me for taking the upside moves because upside moves will be temporary now because nifty should go up with the divergence on the daily chart so that's what i think the trend is on sideways right now as per the arrow indicator so it can turn uh, to sideways again going downside like this so a small range bound movement is uh, suggested by around indicator so this is a trend indicator just like adx but better than adx so yeah this is suggesting a sideways trend so i'm not expecting very big much up move and breaking this 18600 or something that's not about what i am expecting your expectations and my can differ but yeah this is how i look at nifty a nifty chart let's take a look at option data so on option front it's clearly uh, visible that 17,000 and 18,000 are major supports and resistances because the number says it says that here 28 lakh put writers are there which is said to be a major support which has now moved okay this support has been moving upside if you could see small portion by small portion so you could call right now this is the major support and what is the major resistance here the major resistance would be 18,000 okay so support which will which will eventually shift to 17,500 on monday as we are expecting up move so if monday it spends a lot of time in the wave 5 then expect this to be becoming support and then 18,000 is a major support so this is the range for this expiry 17,400 to 800 18,000 when we are looking right now okay so on the nifty you can see that there were a lot of call writers so many of the call call strikes if you see here they were written heavily on these strikes even 18,000 were having major uh, major call writing happening as here as a 20 lakh here there is not much not much data so yeah this is signaling the sh fresh shots are getting added here you do not see a lot of put writing happening in this range but yeah there could be on the lower side so here on 17,400 you see that there was a call writing significant put writing sorry so this put writing uh, uh, supported the market to go up and uh, today as you see there was a lot of call uh, writing happened so the trend is still not that strong on the upside so that's it for today uh, we'll post bank nifty chart as well so stay tuned have a great day bye bye